Hello everyone. I'm back here just to explain the basic commands of networking. These are quite useful commands or essential commands that one should know which one can use on a daily basis. So let's start. Here I'm just making use of the command prompt which I've already opened here. Today we'll learn basic six commands actually which are quite basic commands which one one can use even with the little knowledge of networking. So let's start. The first command is or one of the very basic command is its ping command. Ping command is used to send the ICMP eco request packets to destination. On the layman terms I simply say ping command is used to check the connectivity to the destination or used to check the status of the destination. Fine. If after pinging the destination, if I'm getting some response from the other side, it means everything is fine. If I'm not getting anything or if I'm getting the message like request timeout, it means it's not working properly. Some 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 problem is there. Fine. So uh, it's very very easy to it's very easy to use ping. Either we can use ping space the domain name, or we can use ping space some specific IP address or some name. Fine. How we can do it? Very simple. Just open up a command prompt and simply try type here ping space. Let's suppose Google dot com. You can see I'm getting some request here. In this case, only two things to be understood here. That by default, ping will return four replies. Fine. This is my destination IP. Okay. In this case, the one thing is TTL. TTL stands for time to live. It simply says that how much time the data or the packet need to be present or lived in the network. This should be positive, fine, because we don't want older information. Whenever any data or packet actually travels through the hops or the routers, this TTL goes on decrementing. If TTL goes zero, we need to drop that packet because we don't want older information. We always want the newer information. One more thing is this thing: round trip time in milliseconds. Round trip time meaning is. The time taken by the packet from here to the destination and coming back is also shown here. So it's very useful command just to check the connectivity uh, that uh, whether uh, my destination is working fine or not. So ping actually making use of ICMP packets at the backend. ICMP stands for Internet Control Messaging Protocol. Fine, which help us in just to try trace the health of a destination. So this is the first command we are having called ping. Next one is it's called trace RT. Trace RT stands for trace router. Or what's the meaning? Let's suppose I need to check how many hops are available in a way to my destination, or I want to check the path of my destination. Means from here to uh, from my gateway to the destination, how your data has been traveled. So how we can do it? Very simple. Let's suppose I know my gateway. It's my uh, my gateway is uh, 192.168.1.1. I want to check how I will first test this command to my gateway. Trace RT space 192.168.1.1. As expected, simply shows that my gateway is the between uh, my system and my gateway. There's no other hop available because. You can see here it is only showing one line which simply states 192.168.1.1. It means there's no hop available. Hop means router. Fine. It means it's connected directly. So simple thing is trace RT used to just to let you know that how many hops are available uh, in the on the way. And one more thing, it also help you to detect or trace the path to the destination. Let's suppose if I'm writing trace RT Google dot com you can see now it is now first it's left my gateway here which is my 192.168.1.1 now it is taking some time to destination fine the next next hop is of having this ip address and so on it'll take some time okay it'll just take some time to reach the google server this is called trace RT, tracing the route. Fine. So meanwhile, you can discuss next command. It's working. Next one is 
IP config, one of the very basic command we are having. IP config means IP configuration. Let's suppose if you want to see the IP or the gateway or DNS of your system, simply use that command. It's very simple to use, just do it. Okay, meanwhile you can see it is already have completed. So it means it has taken seven okay, from my this gateway address. It actually took six more hops or some IP addresses to reach the destination. Next is IP config. IP config you can use here. Press enter. Actually shown several things. Okay, but I'm only interested in some very basic thing here. Let's suppose this is my basic thing. It simply shows that what is my, my IP address, my subnet mask, my default gateway or my linked local IPv6 address. It means it's showing my it's showing the basic configuration of your system which is required for networking. It's called IP config. Or you can also use one more variation to it. This command is IP config space forward slash all. Fine. So it listed here the adapter address like link local default gateway and so on fine this is called as a ip config ip config stands for ip configuration or internet protocol configuration just you can see here is command allowed to configure your network interfaces and view information about them very simple or basic command next one is very interesting command called ns lookup ns lookup is stands for net name server lookup name server means actually in this case we are using concept of dns uh, resolving the name to IP and vice versa. In this case, NSLOOKUP will let you know if you supply the IP, it will give you the name. If you supply the name, it will give you the IP or how many IP addresses are associated with the domain name. It just give you that list of IP addresses. Let's suppose if I'm writing here NSLOOKUP space yahoo.com. Just see. It has shown how many IPs are associated with the domain yahoo.com. This is my gateway address actually. This is the addresses which are associated with the domain name. This is actually I have got with the yahoo.com. Fine. You can also use in the other side as well. NSLOOKUP space IP address. It will give you the name then. Fine. It's called NSLOOKUP. Name server lookup. Next command is netstat. Netstat stands for internet statistics. Fine. It just shows the connections that your machine or system has made with the foreign address fine it also actually help you to trace what of like what, what are different ports which are open now okay in your system so it actually tell you the information regarding incoming and outgoing network connections as well as other network information net start utility you can show can show you the open connection on your system how we can achieve this very simple First of all, simply write here net stat space or simply just press enter. You can see the first column is proto. Proto stands for protocol. This shows TCP, transmission control protocol. Local address, my local machine or local host address, call in my port number. Foreign address, this is my host name and this is a foreign address. Last is established. Established means that like my state has been established now. Fine. If you are seeing here the listening, it means now it is open one. This is port is open one and it's listening for the incoming connections. If you simply write this net stat space a hyphen a n. The C now you can see in this case there are various ports which are open, which are listening now. Fine. They are not been established. Okay. This indicates these are open one. So actually net stat, if I say now one line it just help you to get the information about the connections active connections or what is the state of connections their port numbers protocol use tcp or udp and so on this is called nest chat internet statistics next is or last one is arp arp stands for address resolution protocol help you to trace or just uh, map your ip with the mac address fine so arp actually help you to know like what MAC has been associated with your IP address. If you want to resolve MAC with the IP then use reverse ARP. So how we can do it? Very simple thing. Simply write, simply go here and simply type ARP 
space hyphen a. In this case, you can see three columns: internet address, physical address, type, and type actually. Internet address is the nothing but the IP address. Physical means your MAC address, and last is is a logical address. This is the physical address. Type is dynamic. So what's the meaning of type dynamic and static? You can see here. I've already written here. The dynamic means the you can see here. Yeah. Most of the time, computer will use dynamic ARP entries. This means that ARP entry has been learned from the default gateway. Fine. It means I'm learning from the default gateway and it's kept on device for a some period of time. But static entry is opposite. With static ARP entry, the computer is manually entering the link between Ethernet MAC and IP address. Simple logic or simple layman terms, I'll say. Dynamic suggests that I have learned the net the address from the gateway, and static meaning is the computer is manually entering the link between the or mapping between the MAC and the IP. So I hope you have learned all the basic commands, okay, and you will use on a daily basis. I hope it will help you out. Thank you. Thank you for watching.